spirit of the living God want to show out? Don't you know he want to show out in your life? He wants you to begin to speak some things in front of some folks. And then as you begin to speak it, and I say, you know what? She spoke it and I saw it happen. He spoke it and I saw it happen. See, God said, I'm looking for some people that will, show, that will manifest his glory. He's looking for some people that say, you know what? I told you God was going to do it. I ain't talking about no sense in me, but I told you God was going to do it. See, he said he's looking for those that will have that confidence. Because he want to show you something. Look, I, I begin to write down the word command. See, as you begin to pray, you can say, God, I just believe you. And see, you do it in your own strength. Don't you know that you ain't doing nothing? But it's a different thing when you begin to command. Let me give you a definition of command. Because see, I need for you to understand that when God is when you're when you're praying to move God's hand, you got to understand that you shoot a loaded weapon here. That you just can't shoot this weapon no any kind of way. This ain't one no weapon you just lie down any kind of way. This is one you know how people get something that's so precious. Uh uh-uh, uh uh-uh. Don't you do that? Uh uh-uh. uh. You know how people be real careful with certain stuff that's precious. You see, and that's what this is. That you got to understand that that tongue, the word, when you open up your mouth and you release the word of God, don't you know you got something precious and powerful in your mouth? That when you open up your mouth and you begin to release your faith, and you begin to release your faith with that word of God, and you begin to move on what he told you to do, don't you know that God is getting excited by what you're doing? He getting excited. Because see, when I look up the definition for command, it says to direct with authority. So you got to think about it. I work on a military post. And I begin to watch when some of those higher uh, people in command, when they begin to speak, when they talking to you, they talk in a different tone versus when they're giving an order. When they give an order, they put more confidence in what they're saying versus than when they normally speak to you. But the command says to direct with authority, to have control or authority over something, to rule and to have power or a right to command. Don't you know God has called us to be ambassadors? He has gave us the power and authority to speak a word on his behalf. And he said, I'm going to do it because you ain't coming in your own name, but you're coming in the name of the Lord. So you understand that when you're praying, you ain't pleading, Jesus. I know you're going to do it, God. I know you got me, God. See, now you're going into a place where you beg. But it's another thing when you tell that devil, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I send no weapons. I quench every fiery dark that you've thrown at me. And I declare and decree that I will not be stopped. Every hindrance, every barrier being moved out of my way in the name of Jesus. Every door that's been shut, I command it to come open right now in the name of Jesus. I don't come in my own name, but I come in the name of the Lord. Wow, when I start speaking with that authority, all hell got to back up because they don't hear me, they hear God speaking. Versus, please, Jesus, do it, Jesus. I know you got all 